So retaliation or tit for tat, I asked Lauren Goodrich about this episode. She's a senior Eurasia analyst at Stratfor in Austin, Texas. Russia almost identically mirrored um, the, the expulsions that came out of the West and the Western allies of 23 nations, um, 60 Americans to reciprocate for the 60 Russians. So no surprises here. Um, it's almost like it, this is part of the, the regular textbook between Washington and Moscow nowadays. Let me ask you this. One analyst said uh, the unified response that we're seeing is a real warning sign to Putin. Is that how he's viewing it, do you think? Not at all. Um, Putin is weathering all the sanctions thus far fairly well. Um, and it also is kind of playing into his own, his own popularity in that when the expulsions were announced on Monday, that was the day after a massive fire inside of Russia, which took 64 lives, mostly children. And so Moscow was able to play up the fact that the West was going to be expelling Russians instead of sending condolences. And that really played well within the Russian state media and the Kremlin messaging um, in order to, for Putin to not look bad on either front. So this works with the domestic audience, but uh, let me ask you about relations between Russia and Europe and, and the U.S. for that matter. Uh, would you say they're at an all-time low? Is this a repeat of Cold War diplomacy? Well, I would say that it's a post-Cold War low uh, between Russia and the West. Um, there's two key differences. The first is that the Soviet Union is not on par with the West by any means. Um, and Russia is a shadow of what it used to be, militarily, um, economically, and as far as its hold on the world. Um, at home, Russia is incredibly fragile. Um, it has very deep economic and political crises taking place at this time, which we saw play out vividly this week with a string of protests that forced the Kremlin to look more at the domestic situation while it had this foreign um, tit-for-tat war going on with the West. The other key difference is that um, the United States and the rest of the West have so many other major players in the game, such as China, Iran, North Korea, that it's not, Russia is not on par with having that bilateral um, mutual mistrust and mutual tit-for-tat war. Now, some are saying these actions are so sweeping that relations won't get back to normal for quite some time. Is that accurate? I mean, where, how, do, how do you find an off-ramp, so to speak, uh, to mend relations? Because obviously everybody has to work with each other at some point. Uh, to an extent. I would say that Russia benefits from having this, this post-Cold War dynamic taking place and that it, it does play into the Putin messaging um, for as long as he can remain in power. Um, however, right now we're still at that symbolic level. Um, the sanctions are not taking a huge bite out of Russia, and then expelling diplomats is, is, is not really uh, meaningful in any way on either side. So I don't feel like we are escalating to the point that um, there's no way back. Um, so Russia and the United States will still find areas in which they can work with each other here or there. But for Russia, they're enjoying this.